Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome, GME. This is the Stock Swish Show top rated uh, gap of the day. Really, really nice gap. 23 points here, and is working out beautifully. And I actually am in this. I decided to do an afternoon trade in this. It is raining slash snowing or something here in New York today, so I figured that I may as well take a trade here in the afternoon. And 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 actually, it was just because the stop was an itty bitty. Let's go over this afternoon one that I'm in right now. And I actually also have the stop lowered. <clears throat> so I really was watching this initially in the morning, or not the morning, but the late morning here, early afternoon around 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock really is a major reversal time. And the stock ran up here and went through the area that I thought it should have to hold and break down into 12 o'clock. At some point here, I thought it was going to break break this level here at 80 and fall through into the 12 o'clock major reversal time, but it didn't do it. Instead, it had this big bar here, but it settled down immediately, immediately. So then I saw this and I said, well, this is obviously all short covering. Watched it, watched it, watched it, watched it, closed out the room and decided, this is, again, this is a very, 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 very late trade, to do an entry in a 15-minute here in a doji. <clears throat> You don't see doji entries that often. This actually had a doji on the one minute this morning and a doji on the 15. I did this as a doji on the 15 right here when it broke with a very tight snap with a cushion, but it was still tight because this is, this is a doji entry here. Fell on down, <clears throat> got out of half of it here into the one o'clock time frame, and now I have the stop lowered for the rest right over this base. Do you see this here? This is actually did a sandwich here in the 15 minute. Ran up here to 36.64, held right here at 36.66. My stop right now is over 66. It's trying to break a new low. If it doesn't, I'll be all out of this afternoon trade, but I, it's going to. It's absolutely going to. <clears throat> that, I think, is the chance this can go to $34 today. But the correct thing to do was to get out of a portion in this into this breakdown here. You can see where the stock just did a double bottom here right around this time frame. Also, this is a pretty big move. 36.36 was a double bottom. I think it breaks it. Why? Because I think this is going to 30, 35 something, $34 today. <clears throat> and, e and from the Stojury entry, actually, that's an amazing entry. It might have failed. So I was tight with it. But the fact that this did one green and immediately held was a good sign of it following through then telling me that it was just short covering. So let's look at the gap. <clears throat> really, really nice GME gap this morning. Happened late. It was somewhere between 8.30 and 9 o'clock that this gapped. And, uh, and, and, and what it did, it was almost like the volume came in immediately, immediately into it. Lately, I'm telling you, these gaps have been phenomenal since the beginning of the year. And I wasn't even expecting to really do anything today because this happened late. I usually like to see something very, very early in the morning. But this, this didn't even do it. I think it was after 8.30 until this got going. And as it turns out, it played out very well. It was spreadier in the morning than it is right now. Right now, it's showing a penny. It's between a penny and three pennies right here in the afternoon. But it was spready this morning. It didn't even matter. The move this had into the morning period was phenomenal. Phenomenal. Which, you know, continues to prove my point that the beginning time of the day is the time to trade, is the time to make the money, and is the time to profit. Stock opened, held weak, rallied up, set up, fell off the planet. From the entry right here, under this area here, at 38.80, the stock ran all the way down into 9.45. This is only 15 minutes, but look at the drop that it had. It's a dollar. It's two dollars and forty cent move in fifteen minutes, less than fifteen minutes. Two dollars and forty cents in less than fifteen minutes. Beautiful. So you can do a trade like that in the morning and quit for the day, or you could wait and do a second trade then in a different stock, or a second setup, of course, in this symbol. This did have a second setup here. Here down in here to drop off, ran back up here and held. You, you could have held this down in the, it, it, you know, seen if it would get to target then. Time of the day is still good, it's 10.05. But from this entry here, this dropped a buck. Oh, not quite a buck, actually. No, it was like 70, 80 cents. So you could have gotten out of half of it here. And it rallied up, and then it held again, but look what happened. Here's where it didn't continue lower, right at this bar here at 10.50. And then here's all the shore covering. 
So you can do one trade in the morning, two trades in a stock in the same symbol, or do you know two different stock symbols if you want. I think you know when you're watching stuff in the morning, everything sets up at the same time, so you gotta stay on the thing that you like. You must stick with the top pick, the thing that you like. And how do I know what the top pick is every morning? The highest rated guy. The highest rated guy. That's the purpose of having a system so you know what to do, what to watch, what to stick with, and so you don't get distracted, quite frankly. Low here is 20, so let's look at the market here. Time of the day is getting into 2. Well, GME is going to break a new low. I mean, it really doesn't matter at this point because I have my stop lowered and I'm out of half of that already, but let's just see here what the SPY is doing. All right. So really nice uh, trade here in GME today. Beautiful golden gap. The rated extremely high. Extremely high and worked. Worked for a huge move. Right now, and again, the day isn't over yet in this thing. The extension from the high of this bar is 39.10 and the low is 26.20. And I really honestly don't think this is over. If I thought it was over, I wouldn't be in it here in the afternoon. Really, really nice doji entries in this today. Um, have to understand the gap. That is the whole philosophy behind here. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here. As soon as it breaks 30. Come on. Well, actually, it's 36.36 because of that. Here. It's going to do it. <clears throat> I really think this is going to $34 today. Thirty-five. Thirty-five, thirty-four, seventy-five. Thirty thirty-five. Thirty thirty-four thirty thirty-four forty. It's definitely going to thirty-five. Well, here it didn't break thirty-six, thirty-six yet, but it's going to. This is Melissa with the stock swish.com. This is GME. It's two o'clock in the afternoon and this set up very nicely. Uh, after some short covering into the late, late morning rally. This is a stock swish show. Uh, top, top rated gap today. If you are interested in doing the Golden Gap course, it is this weekend, January 18th and 19th. Feel free to email me at melissa at stockswitch.com to find out how to rate these gaps and pick these gaps and play these gaps. Again, have a great day, everybody. Stick with the GME if you're in it. I think it breaks a new low. It's pennies, pennies from doing that. And the target's huge once that happens. I do think this... Uh, you know, falls into the end of the day here, into the close. Uh, beautiful, beautiful gap on GME. Beautiful, nice, bearish trade. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com for more information. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.